Welcome back sports gamers. At E3 this year, we had the chance to get some hands-on time with an early demo of PES 2019. The development has been driven by a few crucial pillars this year, one of which is bringing the very best to PES visuals. Konami stated the game will focus only on current-gen consoles and improvements, which means PES 2019 will now support 4K HDR. In addition, the game will have real-time shadows and lighting. The shadows and sun rays will change position throughout the course of the game as the time of day changes. Furthermore, we'll see the return of snow this year as well. Konami has planned new contextual mechanics to add a deeper level of fidelity. Forza, their ball physics system has been totally revamped. The new system has several new contextual animations leading to the first touch impact system. This will add more uniqueness to individual ball trapping based upon several player traits. To the same effect, new animation and quirks have been added to provide authentic player individuality. This also includes some specialized gear like Beckham's Adidas apparel. A big feature this year is visible player fatigue. Players will wear down over time and subsequently fall susceptible to injuries. You want to make sure, make sure you use the new quick sub feature to keep your guys from getting hurt. Along with the demo, we were able to chat with European PES brand manager Leonard Bobzian about the new game. Although the game is not in its final build, it played incredibly well. Here's the interview with Bobzian and our editor Kevin Finley. There didn't been any difficult working in the Fox Engine because I know that's widely used uh, for more than one game, right? Um, it's been used for, for other products as well in yeah. the past, obviously, but um, no, we never really had issues with the, okay. with the Fox Engine, so we really, we really enjoy using this engine. Awesome, awesome. All right, and I know for one of the stadiums you showed in the demo there, it was fully 3D scanned. Are you guys doing that for all the stadiums, or is it just one of them? Um, obviously, we already have loads of stadiums, like 40-plus stadiums in the game, and actually, every time when we going to work maybe with the new club, and we don't have the stadium already in the game, we are considering the opportunity to do a full 3D scan. With Schalke, it was the first time we actually fully scanned them in a complete different way which turned out to become very successful and definitely it's an option for the future. Awesome. Okay, now this is kind of a question from me because I am I like tech like that. Yeah. I've seen full 3D scans happen for like bodies and things like that's kind of like a room, multiple cameras. How do you 3D scan a full stadium? Um, so you know that um, it's, I don't know how to, to no, no, to, to describe, I'm trying to find the, the, the right words. You know when um, you have like, um, when there's some construction works going on in the street, uh, right. you have those people who are doing all the measurements with their tiny cameras. Right. We actually, we worked with an external agency. They came into the stadium and they basically, they um, selected or selected different points in the stadium and then scanned a certain part. So the footage in the, uh, in the end, like all the data is like, tons of gigabytes it's terabytes it's huge and um, as you said like I mean if you're like a tech guy it's super interesting to see how they're doing it awesome thank you that's kind of just one of my yeah. questions there because I saw it and I was like wow that must have been a process but yeah. terabytes of data I can definitely imagine that for sure um, now this is kind of back to the game there you guys have the day night cycle with the whole lighting system working in the game um, and then you're bringing back snow which is pretty cool now, are we going to see weather have a cycle as well? So, like, the game starts maybe dry and it starts to rain or the snow kind of comes gradually? Um, it might, yes, it might happen. We actually, we are still considering and working on it. So, it is, as you said, it's actually, it's a super cool feature. And we are hoping to see it in PES 2019. I can't guarantee it right now. That's one of those things being worked on. Got it. Okay. So, I won't dig too much into that then. <laughs> uh, now, this is kind of just towards you there. Um, what do you think is going to be the most exciting thing about PES 19 this year? Um, first of all, it's I think for us, which is huge, is the addition of new licenses. Mm -hmm. Like, um, as, as I mentioned during the presentation, the Russian League is completely exclusive. We have added loads of new European licenses, league, actually league licenses, which means that all the, um, all the teams are fully licensed in the game. Two more will be actually announced later on, and I think that's one very exciting point and also what's very exciting is to see the new my club since my club has been completely redone hopefully we can share more um, around july just to share it with our community with our fans to show them all the improvement and that's actually, actually those two points i think for me the most exciting ones 
Awesome, awesome. I'm hopefully just, I'm glad the Curious Hearts to be there because I know I've seen, um, I just restarted playing Pez, I think last year because I got to come to the same demo. So it's been yeah. kind of cool to see it transform, you know, uh, to kind of jump in there and see just from this year to, or from last year to this year, the yeah. change has been gradual and extreme. So it's kind of cool yeah. there, definitely seeing that. Um, this is kind of back to the tech side of things there. Um, you guys mentioned that obviously weather affects the way you play and you guys have the new fatigue or the visible fatigue now, yeah. I should say. Is weather going to play into that like fatigue characters more because they exert more on the field like when it snows or when it rains, things like that? Um, obviously visible fatigue is focusing on the player, mm -hmm. but also um, as you said, like I mean, weather conditions will play a small part to it, whether you run through um, a dry pitch over a dry pitch or a wet pitch will impact the slightly. Okay. Pez will be conducting a press tour that will run through the beginning of the Pez League on July 21st, revealing more details like newly licensed legends. Pez 2019 releases on August 28th in North America and August 30th worldwide. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, and if you love to subscribe, this is the Naturalsportsgamersline.com.